So, um, after two months of working on Project X for TEDx for McMurray, numero dos, um, it's actually literally about time to tear this down, which um, is <laughs> kind of hard, honestly. Um, I know myself, I've put a lot of time and, and effort into building this uh, speaker's box, this Project X for the committee, uh, the organizing committee of TEDx for McMurray. And uh, it, it being the brainchild and, and honestly most of the work clearly done by uh, Miss Ashley, uh, Ashcake Squiggle. Um, <laughs> you can't see it on the screen, uh, hopefully there's been some more documentation of the space in here, but there's an entire tree. Uh, made of found materials with pictures from last year's TEDx, the first ever in Fort McMurray. There's a, a garden in here. There's uh, all kinds of decoration. Uh, and uh, it's completely made out of 100% uh, found or recyclable materials. The roof is uh, lit up by solar bottles, which were inspired by a man who is changing lives by giving people light who otherwise would not be able to have it in the Philippines. You definitely have to look for that. Look up solar bottle bulbs and uh, it's completely made of cardboard in the structure of it. You can see the design elements of bottles have kind of made it into the final uh, final design but the idea is I, I always uh, pictured it as down the rabbit hole uh, sort of through the looking glass. On the outside it is all cardboard and you can't tell what is going on at all. I suppose from the back you can see the bottles but the idea is as you come towards it the presentation is that it is drab, it is, it is a cardboard box, it's kind of shanty like and then you open the brilliant door uh, that's uh, kind of a rusty red color. We tried to go a little red and black Ted style and um, it's a whole new world in here and it's I'm hoping after seeing the footage, I have not yet, but I'm hoping after seeing the footage that I experience uh, in other people what I'm experiencing right now, which is really, really powerful, is that uh, it's a complete shift in, in thought. You come into a little world, you're surrounded by people on the outside, I, I can hear them, I think the microphone's probably picking them up too, and I just hope that people, uh, it, it, it has inspired people to open up in a different way than they normally would. I think it's intimidating to have a camera or a microphone in front of you, but I think the whole point of this exercise is to change that and uh, to make it into a whole new world, a little safe place. And I have to say, I, I unfortunately, just due to circumstance, had to miss most of the actual day here at X4 McMurray. But I was able to catch the last three speakers specifically and uh, the last act. And I was able to experience some of the social interaction and some of the other crazy secret projects that have been going on. It's been an absolutely amazing day, inspiring day, moving day. And uh, taking from just Act 4, uh, things that I have taken with me, uh, I, that I, and I hope that it's not just take, I hope there's some give too, I hope that people have taken something from this project as well. Uh, but what I've taken from the three speakers is, uh, don't be afraid to live, don't let logic get in the way of imagination and creativity, and don't let the days just drift away from you you're going to want to watch all the videos from today's events once they get online. And I don't know how this is being turned into something, but I can't wait to see it too. I can't wait to see everybody that's experienced Project X. Thank you, everyone, for the opportunity. Now we literally have to tear it down. So I'm a little bit sad right now, but I think we're going to be able to get through it. It's going to be okay. Maybe we'll be able to do something next year. But don't make me do that just because I said that. Might be very busy. <laughs>